Starbucks, Cardiff City Centre. Your barista today, Ibi. You good? Ibi to rafter. That's, your ice. That's the two ice lattes. Two days a week, he's here behind the counter. The rest of the time, he's... Partying in Beverly Hills. Oh, we in the mansions, bro. <laughs> Partying is a byproduct of Ibby's other day job. Because Ibby's a highly sought after graphic designer, working with celebs from Javonta Davis to Jay Z. Yes, it gets a bit trippy. One minute he's hanging with Floyd Mayweather, the next he's serving iced lattes. There you go. Oh, thank you. No worries. Working in Starbucks during all of this success, it's crazy because one time I was in New York and I was in Broadway in a, in a meeting in, in like the middle of Times Square that was like on a Saturday and then on that Monday I was in Starbucks putting muffins out. So it's like the whole going from like literally going from the top to like ground level. It's like, it's crazy. But there's method to Ibby's muffin madness. You have to stay grounded, and I feel like working in Starbucks and it enables me to just meet everyday people, see what's going on, get to, get to know about people like the real life, you know. And also regale his regulars with celebrity stories. Yeah, so like one of these guys at Rock Nation, Jay-Z's company, he actually took me to like a private party. It was like an invite-only event, you know, like nobody, nobody even knows about these events. They're like completely... So I wouldn't have got in. <laughs> Complete, yeah, completely private, and it's like at some nice rooftop Hollywood bar. There's so many celebrities there that you don't even expect to see because nobody knows about it. It's, it's like, what is, what is going on, man? What is, what is going on? No, I'm thrilled for you, really am. Yeah, thank you, I appreciate it. And it's nice sharing my story with you, you know, yeah. and like every step of the journey. It's... Well, I do appreciate it because you enthuse me. I told you that smile will take you anywhere. <laughs> that smile will take you anywhere, yeah. <laughs> People like Fred, it's important to have them in your life because it's different perspectives and you understand how people think, how different people think. And if you know how different people think, you're able to better design because design is tailored for specific people. So if you've got a range of different people in your life, you know, oh, that person likes this or this person likes that. So of course it, it, it goes into my design work. But if you'd like Ibby to design for you, get in the queue. There's currently a six-month waiting list. Yes, yeah, so this is my studio. And um, so this is a space where I'm able to really just bring people into my own world and really show what's going on in my mind. Like everything in this studio is curated and hand-picked. Ibby's big design break came when he saw that current world lightweight boxing champion Geronta Tank Davis had an upcoming fight in London. With his keen visual sense, Ibby had noticed something amiss. This guy, he hasn't got a logo, he hasn't got no branding, nothing present. Like, maybe I should propose that to his team. So he got in touch with Tank's people. He was like, listen, don't talk, just do the work. So I had gone back to Cardiff and um, I spent like the next five days just coming up with loads of different concepts, really trying to capture who Javonta Davis is. There were so many different directions to go with this project, like do I brand him as Javonta Tank Davis because that's his nickname, Tank, or do I just do Tank, or do I create like an acronym? And that's why I done, I created an acronym, GTD. So I started combining different letters, GTD, different combinations, just seeing if there's a clever way to put the three letters together. As I was going through this process, it was kind of looking like a tank. So maybe I could get the shape of a tank and like put it into the logo and see, see if that works. So I developed a little bit more. This one looks a bit too much like a shield. This one looks too much like a transformer. This one's solid. It resembles the tank. It's compact. It's easily applicable. This is a, an icon that can be big on a billboard. It can be big in Times Square or it can be small like on a business card. So it's like, it, it's really got longevity when it comes to good design. In my head, I was like, listen, if I go to London and I meet Tank's people, I can't just go empty handed. Like I can't just turn up with nothing, you know, I got to take them something. So I had this hat made with the logo on it. A week before the fight, the boxers, they have a press conference. So I was like, yo, I need Tank to wear that logo on that day. That was my vision, like two, like the exact details I had visioned it in my head. 
His manager said to me, huh, listen, he just wears whatever he wants. I'll take the hat, I'll go talk to him and just see what happens tomorrow. So the next day, my days, like he was wearing the hat with the logo. And then on top of that, all of Tank's team is wearing the logo like in big on their t-shirts. So it was like, I designed this in a, in a little coffee shop in Cardiff. And now these guys are wearing it. Once Javonta and his people went public with Ibi's design, the stars began to align. Super Bantamweight world champion Guillermo Rigondo wanted a bespoke logo. Then came Harlem Globetrotter Corey the Dribbler. Ibi's hoping his next star client will be larger than life pro golfer Andrew Beef Johnston. As soon as I seen like his face, I felt like, yo, this guy's different, man. He's unique. And we'll be back later to see if he can woo the beef. I felt like you needed like a street edge to your logo. With his designer chic. Central London. And Ibi Tarafta, Cardiff barista and designer to the stars, nervously awaits his next meeting. It's a presentation to cult golfer Andrew Beef Johnston. I just got a tunnel vision, in it? Like this week, I've just been focused on the task. So many people have been text messaging me, emailing me, sending me DMs on Instagram. I'm just like, just pause, you know what I mean? Just pause it. This is a good project. This ain't no like one hit wonder project. And here comes the man, arriving with his fiance Jody, the beef himself. A rising star whose success on the golf course has landed him a sponsorship deal with a US burger company with more deals in the pipeline. So the beef wants a brand image. I want something, yeah, nice and bold and, and fun, you know, and people look at it and be like, oh, that's beef. He's it's the golfer, the fun one. and. Yeah, it gets on well with everyone and gives his time and love to, to everyone. And that's what I really wanted to stand out for. I'm going to present him initial ideas for his logo, which is going to be part of his new branding. All of the ideas are strong because, come on, man, like, this is a big deal, you know. I can't be bringing no... I have to bring strong ideas to the table. Here goes. So we've got the initial ideas in it, so... So here I start off with like a general brainstorm. So obviously here we've got, you're a golfer and you've got the trophy that you had won. So things like this trophy, the shapes, maybe I can put the shapes on a burger, you know? Here we've got the flag. I've pulled the, the shape from the flag and I've written the word beef, but I felt like this was a bit too upright because I felt like you needed like a street edge to your logo. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, I felt like that's kind of like 100%. you, isn't it? Yeah. So I kind of went for like an urban approach here. Then I realized the shapes in the middle, they kind of look like the layers from a burger. So I was like, yo, this, this logo is nice. Maybe if we curve it up a little bit, it adds a little bit more character to it. It's weird though, when you look at that though, you think it's like beef and obviously people are like beef like that. And having the bigger is kind of... Yeah, it needs to have a balance of not just visually look good, but also capture who you are as yeah. a person. And here we've got. <laughs> That's really good. Yo, this is a doodle, man. This is a doodle. Yeah, they yeah, say like. Cool. So you're not. I don't know what you put in. Huh? My mouth there. Yo, that yo, that was your um is your golf a, tee. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's not that's not a split, man. That's not that's not that's not a split. That's what I was thinking. I was yeah, like, oh yeah. shit, it looks like a. So again, just developing this idea of putting it into a circle. It has a lot more impact. It's like beef. The circle was good, but then I was like, nah, let me put it in a hexagon, see how it worked. Yeah. I didn't feel like you were a square. I didn't feel like you were a circle. You are kind of like a hexagon, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's where the hexagon idea come from. And then here we've got the flag, because you want to get the ball to the flag, innit? And when I first spoke to you, you said your mission was, I want to win tournaments and have fun. Yeah, that's so it. So it's like, what can represent like winning and having fun? The flag represents winning, you know what I mean? It's like you want to get the ball to the flag. Maybe if I can add something into it, so here I've got the golf ball flying through. This logo, it's got that energy to it, it's got motion to it, and it's almost like people are shouting your name. It's like beef. Yeah, it's, it's like a lot of ideas, man. So which ones are cutting it? That one. It's got the beef thing, it's a bit more street. I feel like yeah. I could go on anything. Yeah. 
they did like the flag idea. People do say beef, so it does look like it's... Got sound to it. Yeah. And a wild card from the margins. I kind of like that one in a way. And the silhouette style. Just that side profile, making the beard obvious and the hat obvious. Yeah. Just like a little logo somewhere. Yeah. Hey. So, three ideas for Ibby to work on. He's just very down to earth, really nice lad, and some of the ideas have been really good, and I'm looking forward to him, for him to go back and work on him a bit more and see what he comes back with again. Last time on Young, Welsh and Pretty Minted... You good? ..we met Ibby Tarafta, barista by day and designer to the stars by night. His latest client is larger-than-life pro golfer Andrew Beef Johnston. No. Beef wants a brand logo to support his rising fame and product endorsements. Ibby's already come up with some design sketches. <laughs> <laughs> that was your the, golf tee. Are you sure? That's <laughs> not a spliff. <laughs> that's, that's, that's. That met with Beef's approval. Today, Ibby's in London to present the final product. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Everything's ready, everything's on point. <sighs> I'm excited. I've been through this presentation in my head so many times and from both sides, like how they're going to react and how I'm going to present. Lining up to be wowed by Ibby are Beef, his fiancée Jodie and his manager, James Lippitt. So I'm just going to start off with a quick recap from what we had in our last meeting. So the first one was the flag idea. The flag represents winning, the ball flying through it added that golf element. So what happened, you probably noticed the golf ball is missing. I felt like the perspective was there but then the curved golf ball, it took away from like the geometry of the logo. So I've taken the sketch. With the presentation, I don't just present, I turn it into a show, like I'm a showman and I have to showcase the work. Okay, so I'm going to show you the final logo, are you ready? When you look at this, it's just you, you know what I mean, man? When you look at it, it's like beef, it's moving forward, it's perspective. A good logo, it always works in the basic form of black and white. And then when it comes to colour, it's more like a, a street feel to it, so the red... There's a narrative to the whole presentation, like every page I considered, like the flow, the emotions that like beef is going to go through, like when he's watching it, I wanted him to feel a certain way and take him down a certain route. Then we got mocked up, so just so you can see how the design would work in real life situations. So I'm just showing you versatility in terms of the design because you can use it in many different ways. Concept two, got the hex hexagon yet. Yeah. We decided that we wanted to make that the main logo. It's nice, but this is a bit more serious in it and I don't think it captures your character. The first one definitely has got way, way more energy to it. Yeah, amazing. I always, I always had in my head the sort of hexagon shape, and that was the one that's been on my mind. And as soon as I saw the other one, it just, it just instantly hit home. The whole shape of the flag, like it really shouts out exactly what he's all about, his personality, and it's just amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. And then the third idea was the silhouette. Again, this is like a supporting graphic, so your yeah. silhouette will work with your main logo, they work together, like they support each other. So this could be used as like a promotional pin. And then partnerships, just to show you how the design would work alongside your partners. So like, look at that, we have the beef. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it just goes hand in hand. Before I come into the meeting, I knew how their reaction is gonna be. Even the breaks, like where I used his images, that, that looks like, I, w I want that, like, right now. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's Now, so when they strange. think it's over, it's not over. I take them for, I take them down another route, you know? I show them another vision. I got some stuff for you guys, man. So we've got a T-shirt here. Well, obviously, you're going to be a dad and everything going into the new year. <gasps> oh, I love that. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I really make sure that every part of the presentation it just hits home and has maximum impact. It was like a perfect project, you know, this project. So, and the client, the work, everything is just, just worked out so beautifully. That jumper was so cool as well. It's just all perfect. And then obviously the hats. Yeah, it's strange. You meet him for half an hour and he's drawn up a design like he's known like he me for 10 you. years. Yeah. Yo. yeah. That is brilliant. Thanks. Another satisfied client. Next up for Ibby, 
fly out to meet Jay-Z's people in NYC on Saturday, then back for a double shift in Starbucks on Tuesday. Ibita Rafter, the Jet Set Barista.